In this video, we want to see how to extract the items in list number two that are in list number one. And we want to see how to do it off to the side with a formula. Then we want to see how to extract the items in list number two that are not in list number one. Now I'm going to show you how easy this is if you have Microsoft 365 Excel. If you don't, here's the video to watch with six amazing examples. And if you download the workbook, there's the formula we used to have to run. The function we use when we're comparing two lists is the X match function. It's a lookup function that can look up a particular item and tell you the position in a list of items. So Match will look up that item and report that it's in position number two. If it doesn't find something like healthy garden produce, it returns an NA. Now in the lookup value, we want to give it all the items because we want to spill a result for every one of these items, either a number or an NA, comma, and the lookup array. This is the list that we're trying to compare it to. The default for the X match function is exact match, which is what we want. So that's our formula so far. When I hit Enter, the results spill. The number means it found the item in list two over in list one. Now this is a spilled formula, and you can see all of the spilled results are grayed out. The formula only lives in the top cell, and that's where we want to edit. So F2, we're interested in. The numbers, so we use is number, close parentheses. Now we get trues and falses, where the true means it found it in both lists. F2 at the top. Now we use filter. The array to filter, list number two, comma. Include, we already have our trues and falses. So that is the amazing formula in Microsoft 365. This will deliver a dynamic list when the item in list two is in list number one. If I add a new item to the bottom, best for you, instantly the formula updates. Control Z, and if we copy this formula, Control C, paste it over here in edit mode, Control V, we just have to change is number to is an A. And now the formula will extract items in list number two that are not in list number one. When I hit Enter, the results spill into the worksheet. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from XLS Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.